gonna use this background right here. And I also, I really learned that she is a really sweet girl, and I really want to have everybody check her work out, and if you ever need photographs, I would definitely get photographs done by her, because Laura Herbert is just amazing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our image that I just downloaded. Okay, that's this one, and then um, we're going to copy, we're going to select the entire avatar layer, copy by control C or go to edit, copy, and then, <clears throat> and then we're going to click on the image where you want it, and then we're just going to do that, and then we're just going to resize her, oops, she's a little distorted, but we can always fix that. Okay, um, so now that we got the, um, my avatar on to the background, now we're going to start the editing process. Now the editing process is probably going to take about 20 minutes, but um, I'm going to do it to where it's not going to take as long. But you guys just please pack enough patience and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, um, first off, we need to do some shadowing, okay? So, shadowing is pretty important. But you can also see that, um, that the, for one, the, um, we just, we don't want, um, we really don't want to have, um, we, well, first off, we, we want to have the avatar blend in with the background color. So we need to go into hue slash saturation. And we just need to make the picture a little bit um, saturated. And then we need to go to color balance. And we're just going to... Okay, and then we're just going to... There we go. Now, you can see what I did. What I did was I pretty much just um, went into here and then and changed the color balance and the hue saturation and actually I can bring this down a tad bit more. Okay, and then um, now I'm going to select, press shift on my keyboard and select all three and then press merge layers just for the avatar layer and the hue saturation and the color balance and then that gives us a nicer blended avatar so now we're going to take the um, brush tool and we're just going to make sure the color is black we're going to make a new layer set the brush blending mode to normal and make sure that it's on 0% hardness so it looks like that okay and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller right about there and then we're gonna set this to 12 and 13 I'm going to set the opacity to 12%, flow 13, and then we're just going to start doing the shadowing along the faces. We want to get some along the faces and contour.
Actually, I don't really like that. Oops. If you don't like it, that's why it's on a new layer. That's why it's on its own layer, so that you can delete it if you, for perhaps, don't like it. Remember, make sure it's on a hard and soft brush. Okay. In case you don't like it, then well, we can just delete the layer and then restart over. Okay. Sometimes it takes trial and error, so don't freak out. Okay. Okay. Do some shadowing on the arms. And by the way, if any of you guys have any questions for me, um, Kimmy Ink Pen, then just send me an I'm or no card, and I will be glad to address your question. Just gonna do one. There we go. Now that doesn't look too harsh. And then we're just gonna do now we're going to change it to 45-55. We're just going to do a little bit more of a... And we're just... Okay, now we can see we're putting, making some progress here. We got some nice looking shadows. Now, I'm gonna just kind of make some cute little shadows there. Make some shadows here. Now that we have the shadows there, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dodge tool and we're going to make sure we select the avatar layer and we're just going to make a little triangle on the cheeks 